The terrifying scene which unfolded in the movie theater also highlighted incredible bravery and heroism. One of those heroes is 19-year-old Jarrell Brooks, who sprung into action when he realized Patricia Legoretta and her two young children were in danger. Both he and Patricia were wounded by the gunman, and they join us live from Colorado this morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Jarrell and Patricia. We really appreciate you coming on this morning. And, and I understand that this is the first time you've seen each other since the terror unfolded. Patricia, you said that after you were shot, you, you couldn't remember what happened, but you heard a man's voice. You believe that man was Jarrell. You believe he saved your life and the lives of your daughter. So what do you have to say to him this morning? Thank you. I mean, I just can't even, I don't know where I would be. I don't remember exactly everything that happened but I just, I thank him because, I mean, having him there next to me, knowing that there was somebody there is just, it, it, it's, it's comforting I'm knowing that somebody was willing to help. I'm sure it is. And do you remember what he was telling you then? No, I, I, I remember hearing uh, him scream and saying, oh God, when, when, when he got hit. And I remember him like continuing to talk what was being said, I mean, I just, I, I can't remember all of it. I, it was just, everything around was just happening so fast. You just, you can only take in so much. Right, and so Jarrell, let's ask you the question. What were you saying to her? How do you recall all of this happening and unfolding when you saw Patricia and her daughters? Well, my first thought was seeing them two on the floor. And I noticed that she had her son in her arm and her youngest daughter held to her left arm and I was just trying to guide her out I was like you know we have to go and when she looked at me she said I'm just here with my two kids so my first initial reaction was to just guide them towards the door and start to slowly push them up and uh, as I was pushing them that's when I got hit on my thigh and I think that was the straight that she got in her right leg. Did you know initially that you'd been shot? Uh, initially no it felt just like a sharp pain but when I tried to move my left leg, I went down and I looked at my hand and noticed there was bleeding. And that's when it got pretty real at that moment. And what was the environment like around you? Just sheer chaos, everyone trying to dash out the door to the exits? Yes. Patricia, your daughter, I remember you saying that she actually fell, your four-year-old daughter, and you actually shielded her. Tell us about that frightening moment. You just... All I could think of was, I mean, just, just, just blocking her, just shielding her, just making sure that she didn't get hurt and just trying to keep her down. And she was just so disoriented. I just remember her just like looking around because she was asleep, just looking, thinking what, like what's going on what, and just trying to keep calm so that she didn't start freaking out even more. And it was just so scary and her face just... I can understand an innocent night where you take your children to the theater and sheer terror unfolds around you. Uh, Jarrell, where were you seated relative to the shooter? Um, I was about six rows away from the back exit. And when I first saw the shooter, he was closer to the screen in the corner. Um, and the only reason I saw him was because of the flashes from the gunshots. So that was kind of how I knew where he was at and where he was shooting from. Did you think you were going to lose your life that night, Jarrell? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Jarrell, did, did you think you were going to lose your life that night? Um, my life definitely flashed before my eyes at that moment. It was... Um, it's hard to say because when I first was hit, that's when it got very real for me. And at that initial moment, I was thinking I could sit here and see what happens, or I can just make a bold sit, move and try to go. And um, thankfully, I made it out okay. And, and, and uh, Patricia and her kids made it out okay. And rightly so, you were being heralded a hero. How does that make you feel when you hear that word? Um, I just feel like I was just doing what was the best intentions in the situation. I don't necessarily consider myself a hero. I just feel like there was someone who was in distress, and I'm not. I'm not the kind of person who would let them be in that situation and me selfishly try to get myself out of the equation knowing that there's someone or two kids, all she's trying to do is protect her kids. 
So I felt like if I can get her out, then I, there maybe I would have got out, maybe I wouldn't. But as long as I knew that she was okay, I was all right. I was struck by something you told our Chris Cuomo last night. You said you were at the wrong place at the right time. Patricia, I want to end on a good note because late last night, your boyfriend, Jamie, proposed to you after all of this. He was in the theater with you and your two children. Tell us just quickly about that proposal and how it feels now. It feels, I mean, I'm ecstatic, extremely excited, but at the same time, you just have this, this tragedy that you just, you have some sadness hanging over and, and I just but you, hope that there's just so much more good news that comes out of this. All right, well, we thank you both for joining us this morning.